All right, guys, I'm gonna talk about the Judiciary Act of 1789. So I'm gonna be talking about basically how it was made, who made it, um, and the idea behind it. So when the makers of uh, the Constitution came into play, most of them were lawyers. So they were already very familiar with how law should be put into place and exactly how the court system should be around. Although this was the case in actual, and like in actuality, Article 3 really only speaks about the Supreme Court and the rules surrounding that court by itself. Therefore, when Congress finally was put together, one of the first acts was that they wanted to make sure to set up the judiciary system. So, uh, one of the first acts set by Congress was introducing the ju judiciary system under the Supreme Court uh, so to talk about different districts and things as such. Uh, it actually establishes the rule for the lower courts and sets up num numerous rules for the judicial system that we now have today. Now, who's responsible for the Judiciary Act of 1789? Well, obviously Congress was responsible for creating the act, but the, prince, uh, the president at the time was definitely George Washington, who actually signed off on it. Uh, George Washington signed it off September 24th, and like mentioned before, Article 3 set up the Supreme Court, but it actually allowed Congress the power to set up the lower courts, putting the trust into uh, the Congress as a whole to make the act. Now, who wrote the Judiciary Act of 1789? The actual author was actually Senator Ellsworth from Connecticut, who actually is the, who actually wrote it down. Um, the way they were able to make it um, through the con through Congress was that the House of Representatives were the ones who debated the act in different sessions, um, making the act what it is today. But they had multiple sessions where they debated and basically kind of did what they did with the Constitution, which was debate how, what, how they should frame things, what they should say, and things of that such. The Senate then approved the act afterwards um, once the House of Representatives was finished with it and they were able to approve it from 14 to 6. So overall, this is how the, the, the overall federal court system was established. It actually happened after the Constitution because the Constitution doesn't really explain the ju judiciary system fully. It really only talks about the Supreme Court. That's really all that the Constitution establishes. Once that came afterwards, that's later on when they were able to, Congress was then able to get a firm grip of what they wanted from the system and basically be able to gain from it and uh, establish it full heartedly through this act. And it really lays out the foundation of what we have today for the judiciary system. Thank you guys.